junior heavyweight champion, Scorpion Nelson Arroyo. Well, Charlie, last week we saw Rick Hazard win that match, although he did not want to take the win, to be honest. Exactly. Because of the way it happened, he did not want to, but the CWF said the official decision was that Rick Hazard was the winner in that match over Danny Davis. And therefore, he does get this title match. Something's going on. The crowd is on the... Wait a minute, I see him now. Oh, yeah, look at this. Uh-huh. Look at this. Danny Davis is coming to ringside and has a black notebook and a pen. And, and he's explaining to Nelson Royal, I'm just here to take notes like you did last week. And, of course, Nelson Royal does not want him to take notes the way he did last week. That's for sure. And uh, Danny Davis with a notebook in hand comes down. Look at this. One, two, almost. Whoa. Almost a new junior heavyweight champion. Nelson Royal had better pay attention to Rick Hazard. The shoe is on. The shoe is on the other foot. That's right. I wonder if Danny Davis takes notes using a roll of quarters the way Nelson Royal did. I don't think so. But I tell you what, if he did, I wouldn't blame him at all. No, not one bit. Danny Davis sitting here at ringside has caused quite a stir. Nelson Royal not keeping his mind on what's going on in the ring. And if that continues, he could walk out of here without this belt. Rick Hazard has proven that he can defeat Nelson Royal. And if he gets the opportunity here tonight, he's going to walk out with that belt. All right. Got an elbow over into the ropes goes Nelson Royal and Rick Hazard. But there goes Nelson with the leg, uh, working on the leg of Hazard now. Good forearm smash to the midsection. And Nelson Royal using the referee almost as a shield against Rick Hazard. One more time, I'd like to stress to the people who might be watching who would like to have wrestling in their area as a fundraiser, uh, we are available for that. The Continental Wrestling Federation will be happy to work with you, if at all possible, in helping your club or civic organization raise money. And all you need to do to get in contact with us is give us a phone call. That's a lot easier than writing. And uh, the phone number for the Continental Wrestling Federation uh, fundraising drive is area code 205. 979-7463. Area code 205-979-7463. And we'd love to help your club or organization raise money for good civic needs all over the continental wrestling area. All right, with Elson Royal taking a shortcut. Danny Davis pointing it out to the referee, but of course the referee can't do anything except warn Nelson at this point since he didn't see it himself. But uh, Nelson Royal has to be concerned about this extra set of eyes outside the ring, Charlie. He is definitely concerned about the eyes, and I believe it is uh, it has taken its toll on Nelson Royal so far in this match on a couple of occasions. You don't think that he's uh, keeping an eye on Danny Davis to see if he can find a roll of quarters, do you? Uh, two times now Danny Davis is saying uh, take down by the hair. Now talk about your veterans. He looks right at the referee, and Nelson Royal said, did you see me do it? The referee said no, and he said, then I didn't do it. Exactly. And, uh, oh, now he's inviting Danny Davis in. That could be the, that could be the uh, big mistake of the evening as far as... Uh, well, except now he, of course, realizes that if Davis steps in the ring, Rick will be disqualified, and he'll keep the belt. So uh, once again, we're seeing the caginess of Nelson Royal. We're seeing those years of experience uh, as he's trying to make those pay off. Right now, though, Rick Hazard trying to power out. And there, once again, take down by the hair again. Royal goes into the ring rope, up and over his man he goes Hazard. There's that kick. Big kick. There is that kick. What a move. A savant style kick. Nelson Royal almost out of it. Whoa! Over the top. Nelson the Royal. Road. And the referee is disqualifying Nelson Royal. Disqualifying him for throwing him over the top rope, Charlie. He'll lose the match, but he will keep the belt. And do you uh, think that he can wait a Whoa. minute? He slaps away at Danny Davis, who's out on the floor. Davis 
taking that jacket off. Now, Davis, it goes. Here we go. The brawl starts between Nightmare and Davis. There's that drop kick. Beautiful, yes, again, drop kick. Two big drop kick. Goes down. Nelson Royal looking for Danny Davis. There he is. Oh, he's got it down. One, two, three. That's proved the point. I think Davis has proven a point in this situation. Danny Davis has proven that he can put Nelson Royal's shoulders down for the three count. But I don't believe that was an accidental over the top rope. No, Rick not Hazard. at all. Rick Hazard, I am sure Rick Hazard had Nelson Royal to the point that Nelson Royal decided the best thing to do was to get disqualified. It was a great match and a disqualification on the part of Royal throwing Hazard over the top rope. Your winner is Rick Hazard, but the belt does not change on disqualification. We'll be back with more of the Continental Wrestling Federation in just a moment. <laughs> 